My name is Dr Natasha Bahal Gupta and I'm a GP Registrar at ST3 level at Bronsbury Medical Centre where I work full time. In addition to this I am also the Deputy AIT Lead for London for the Royal College of General Practitioners and also the GP Registrar Lead for the Royal Society of Medicine. And when I'm not doing these things I also enjoy interviewing prospective medical students for St George's University of London and mentor sixth form students that want to join UCL Medical School as well. We are a very large surgery so we have 18,000 patients. Because of where we are we have a lot of transient patients as well, young working population, young families but then we do have many older patients as well. So it's a very diverse and ethnically diverse population. We do have a rather deprived population here. We do have refugees that have moved into the area with a whole host of problems that we're just slowly starting to unpick and understand. Hand in hand in health is people's social problems and we are in the centre of the community. I didn't actually start off wanting to become a GP. I actually started my acute medical registrar training. However, I must admit I became a little bit disillusioned with the hospital system whereby I didn't really get the chance to get to know the patients very well and I just wanted somewhere where I could be a true generalist and I could take back some ownership of the patient and their problems in you know, what we call the biopsychosocial model, so not just their physical problems but the social and the emotional problems as well. And that can only truly happen in general practice where the true generalists left also GP allows a lot of creative control and flexibility on your career. It's an interesting time to be a GP. There's so much change going on. So you can do your clinical sessions and be the best clinician that you want to be and that's important. But if you have other interests, whether that be teaching or occupational medicine or women's health, it's really up to you to make it what you want to be and that's what's exciting about general practice. Personally, I'm interested in becoming a GP trainer. I've been fortunate to have such fantastic training over the years that I want to be able to give some of that back. I'm also particularly interested in quality improvement and improving services for the local community. So let's see where life takes me.